Hello everyone, welcome back to Desi Return. Today, we are covering another crucial topic for a lot of families in their financial planning. And it is about social security spousal benefits. Do you know, even if you're a non-working spouse and you haven't contributed anything to social security taxes, you might still qualify for spousal benefits. Even if you are a non-US citizen, you might still be eligible to get spousal benefits. So please stay tuned till the end to understand about the spousal benefits, the eligibility criteria, the rules, how it works, and the qualification criteria. If you are a non-US citizen and you have returned to India, how you can be eligible for these benefits and few FAQs. Before we dive into today's topic, I want to remind about our video related to social security retirement benefits, which talks about the eligibility criteria, qualifications, how one can still be eligible to receive these when they return back to India, even if they are a non-US citizen. Let's dive into today's topic. Social security spousal benefits are also called dependent benefits. These are the benefits that spouse would receive when a primary worker or a primary beneficiary receives their social security retirement benefits. For a married couple, if we have a primary spouse who worked for 10 years at least, earned at least 40 credits, and they're eligible for their social security retirement benefits, as a spouse, you might be qualifying for the spousal social security benefits. The amount is 50% of full retirement benefits that your working spouse would receive. We'll get into more details. The eligibility criteria. So if you are a spouse, the first requirement is the marriage requirement. You have to be married for at least one year. The second age, you need to be at least 62 before you can claim spousal benefits. However, you would get maximum benefits when you start claiming it at your full retirement age, which is typically age 67. If you opt for getting these benefits early on, the amount of the benefits that you would receive is reduced and it can go all the way up to 35% reduction. Also, if you have delayed your payments, there is no additional benefit to get more if you delay your benefits, like in social security retirement benefits. The third criteria, which is another important one, is your worker or a primary beneficiary should have applied and be claiming their own retirement benefits for you to be eligible to get the spousal benefits. Now, let's talk about the eligibility criteria for an ex-spouse. For an ex-spouse to be eligible for getting these spousal benefits, they should have been married for at least 10 years. Second, and this person should not have been married after the divorce. Third, the age requirement, again, at least 62 years old. Fourth, if you have been divorced at least for two years, then there is no requirement for the primary person or the primary worker or primary beneficiary to have applied and be taking their own retirement benefits. Even if they have not applied, you can still be eligible to apply for your own spousal benefits as long as you have divorced for more than two years. Now, let's talk about how much you earn and uh, what are some of the rules related to that. First, there is something called PIA, Primary Insurance Amount. So this is the amount that a person would receive as a part of Social Security Retirement at a full retirement age. Please note that the amount that one would receive at full retirement age at age 67. So for a spousal benefit, if you are claiming that at your FRA, which is a full retirement age, then you would get 50% of the TIA. So for example, your spouse is eligible to get $2,000 at, as, at their retirement age, which is their retirement from Social Security. 
as a spousal benefit and you can get up to thousand dollars and that's a maximum that you can get and that is something that you're eligible at your full retirement age which is 67. if you have opted for spousal benefits early like let's say at age 62 that amount is reduced and it is reduced to 35 percent so the same example where your primary spouse is eligible for $2,000 as PIA, as their own retirement benefit. And at your maximum benefit as a spousal is $1,000. If you have applied for your spousal benefit at age 62, you would get only $650. Also note, if you have delayed your spousal benefits after the PFRA, which is 67, you won't gain anything. The maximum that you can get is only thousand dollars in this example now let's talk another important topic so if you are eligible for your own social security retirement benefits based on your own contribution your work and the taxes that you have paid for the social security fund if that's the case then social security would be providing only the maximum of both so for example based on your work history based on your contribution Let's say you are eligible to receive $700 for your social security retirement benefits and your social security spousal benefits is $1,000. In that case, you would be receiving $1,000, which is the highest between your own retirement benefits versus social security spousal benefits. Please note, you can't get both. You would be receiving only the highest of these two. Also, there is another important aspect about working and earning while receiving these benefits. If you have been working and receiving or earning money before your full retirement age, which is 67 typically, your retirement benefits will be reduced based on your earnings. As long as you are working and earning after age 67, the retirement benefits for the spousal retirement benefits are not reduced at all. So please be aware of this and be mindful, like depending on when you are claiming for these spousal benefits. And uh, especially when you have money, that's like the threshold is very low and uh, be mindful about that. Now let's talk about the qualification for a non-US citizen on how they could qualify for the spousal benefits. So in this case, your working spouse, the primary beneficiary, if they have received 40 credits, spent 10 years, they would be eligible for their own retirement benefits. In addition to that, as a spouse, you need to spend at least five years in US as a spouse to your primary beneficiary. If that's the case, then you would be qualifying for your spousal benefits, even if you're a citizen of India. So we have a link in the description below where we have this information and this is coming from SSA. Please go through it. Now, let's talk about some of the FAQs. The first one, can I claim both my retirement benefits as well as the spousal benefits? No, you can't claim both. You can get only the highest of these two. If your social security spousal benefit is higher than your retirement benefit, then that's what you get. But you can't get both. Do spousal benefits have an impact on the payments to my spouse? No. Your spousal benefits does not have any impact on the payments to your spouse. And there is no reduction to your spouse retirement benefits. These two are separate. The third question, can I switch from one benefit to another benefit, from your own retirement benefit to a spousal benefit? Yes. You can start with one and you can switch later and uh, you can opt whichever is the highest. So hope this video is helpful in understanding this spousal benefit and uh, consider that in your financial planning, this is the information based on as of current information. So please be aware and you need to apply for it because this is not an automatic benefit that you would be eligible for. So be very mindful about that. In the next video, we'll be talking about another important topic called social security survivor benefits what is it about the rules, the amount of money that you can get and the eligibility criteria and so on. Hope you liked it and uh, wish you a great day.